So hello friends and family. We are here on our holiday in Alaska and for those of you who don't know or we haven't messaged yet, um, we're here because we have decided that we are moving here. Yes. Um, we felt like we've been led in this direction for a while and um, you know the saying sometimes God closes a lot of doors and opens a window. Well we feel like he's closed a lot of doors for us in Texas and a lot of really good ones have been opening up here in Alaska for us. So I'm moving back and Alan is <laughs> going to be starting his a new life I guess. Um, as an Alaska resident, very soon. Woohoo! <laughs> so, we've decided to create a YouTube channel because um, we know that many of you will want to follow what we're doing. We are in the process of purchasing this place. Let's see if I can. There we go. This place. We're moving up here to start our own business and um, hunt and fish. But this property that we're buying is um, pretty amazing. It is a dry cabin and it is a very, very small house. <laughs> Not a tiny house, a little too big to be a tiny house, but it's, it's very small, completely finished yet. And um, so we'd like to take you on our journey of renovating and building our business and kind of just enjoying our travels up here and our hunting, fishing, and just kind of the Alaska life. Um, as you all know, I grew up here, well, in Anchorage, and uh, I thought for many years that I would try to move back. But that just kind of never happened and then when I moved to Texas I kind of thought that was off the table forever because Alan <laughs> is a good old Texas boy and said he never wanted to live anywhere else and um, I made the mistake about two years ago of bringing him up here and he talked to many of my friends and after talking to him about all the hunting and fishing and kind of the life up here and seeing everything that Alaska has to offer, um, scenery in every direction and a view in every direction, a different view in every direction, he turned to me and said, I think I'm living in the wrong state. So um, we kind of thought about it for a while and we thought, well, maybe we'll retire up here, you know, 10 years. And uh, the timeline just basically got moved up pretty quickly. Um, because, like I said, a lot of doors closed for us and kind of was the push to come. So, you have anything you want to say? I'm just glad to be here and I'm glad we're going to have some new challenges and new experiences in life together that I've never experienced because I've never lived outside of Texas. I've never lived anywhere where it was cold or it snowed or I had white Christmases. So. I'm looking forward to our new adventures and fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. We know that there's definitely um, challenges that Alaska presents, um, you know, as far as the weather, and hopefully we'll be able to kind of um, deal with that. I know a lot of people think about, oh, it's not just the weather, it's the darkness. And as you can see right now, it's, it's pretty light. What time is it? <laughs> four. It's four o'clock, so it's it's starting to get a little bit a little bit dark right now. Um, the shortest day of the year where we are, the sun comes up about ten thirty and goes down about three thirty. Um, but even before that time and after that time, it's not exactly quite dark for a couple of hours. It's kind of more twilighty, and so. That's good, but the, the disadvantage is that in the summertime, I don't know if it's really a disadvantage, but it's, it's an alternate. In the summertime, the sun is up 
pretty much all the time, so definitely have to have blackout curtains and keep your alarm set as to when to go to bed. Um, so we're, you know, excited about this, and we know that there's definitely going to be some challenges, not just weather-wise and light-wise, but we also live in earthquake zone. We'll be living in earthquake zone. As you know, Alaska just recently had a 7.0 earthquake. And miraculously, God had his hand on Alaskans that day, and no one was killed. And um, that does not deter us. However, we know that living in the ring of fire, you're, you're going to take that risk. And no matter where you live, in any part of the United States, there is some natural disaster um, possibility. Where we live in Texas, there's tornadoes. So, and flooding. A lot of flooding. So, you know, no matter where you live, you can't, can't let fear rule your life. You have to just plug along and, you know, when things do happen, the one thing that's really great about Alaskans is they're very resilient and they do band together and everybody checks on each other and, um, you know, so it's, it, it's good that way. We're not, we're not fearful that way. And so we're just going to try to build a new life here. I mean, we've kind of both done it before. Um, Alan's originally from Houston and he moved to Austin and rebuilt his life and I'm a military brat so I've lived pretty much everywhere but as an adult I moved from New Jersey to Texas and now I'm gonna move again and um, to Alaska, back to Alaska um, and it's gonna be great. We're, we're very excited so I hope you guys will stay tuned and subscribe and join us on our little adventure. Take care. Bye guys. Bye. For those of you who don't know what a dry cabin is, there's no running water and no plumbing right. and no water heater. Right. However, we do have heat. We do have a a stove, a wood-burning stove. A propane. Yeah, and a right propane heater and a wall.